Hello and welcome to this meditation that I've designed for you to practice when you have your period. So when you're on a fertility journey, getting your period feels like the worst thing in the world. And I know how it feels. You feel angry, disappointed, and just like, why did I bother? Like, why am I doing this? And I know what it is to be in that space. And I really want to create some resources to support you at this time, because I personally believe how you treat yourself at this time sets you up for the rest of your cycle. If you follow along any of my other videos, you know that I teach different yoga classes for the different stages of the cycle. And the reason for that is because we're meant to live in a cyclical way as women. Our hormones, our energy levels all cycle throughout the month. And when you have your period, you are at your lowest energy for the entire month. This is the time to rest, to turn inward and to slow down. But many of us live in a world where we don't do that. We have full-time jobs, we have family that we have to care for, we have phones in our pockets that keep us on 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and we don't ever take that time to slow down. Many of us continue to exercise to the same degree that we do at this time. And in many ways, we've been told to just push that aside, pretend you're not even bleeding, and to just get on with it. Which I personally think is one of the reasons why we head towards burnout, why we find that our hormones aren't balanced. Because our body is in stress mode. It doesn't ever get that rest and that recovery that it needs at this time. And your body is doing so much at this time. It is releasing the lining of your uterus, which is like a mini birth. The uterus has to contract for that to happen. So in this meditation today, I really want us to turn inward. There is no doing in this meditation. There's no goal, no outcome. I don't want you to achieve anything. There really is nothing for you to do. I want you to let go of that, that outward masculine energy and to tune into that space of just being in your body and allowing yourself to experience the sensations of your body, the emotions that you might be feeling, allow yourself to just be in all of it without justifying, without being like, oh, I shouldn't be disappointed because I've only been trying for this long or, oh, this person has it worse than me or any of the other rationale that might be going through your head. I would like for you to turn that off and just give yourself the next 10 minutes or so to just be in your body and give yourself that energy back. Take the time to rest and restore. And I hope that the more you practice this and start to tune into these times of rest, the healthier your cycle will become, the more balanced your hormones will be, and the better you'll feel in your own body. So let's get into the meditation now. Find yourself a comfortable seat or lie down. Feel free to cover yourself with a blanket, maybe even bring a hot water bottle onto the low belly that will feel nice and nurturing. (sighs) Take a deep breath and settle in. So if it feels good to do so, you can bring the hands onto the low belly. Perhaps you bring left hand to heart, right hand to belly, or just rest the hands on the thighs or the floor beside you. Let the shoulders become heavy and draw away from the ears. Notice the spine lengthening, so either sitting up tall or just stretching out where you lie. I want you to send the breath into the low belly. Let the exhale be long and full. The inhale be slow and nourishing. I'd like for you to connect in with the intention of giving this practice to yourself. This is like a gift of rest, of nourishing at this time, when your body is going through so much. And also your mind, your emotions, if you've been trying to conceive, this is a big deal. This is a disappointment. It might feel like a loss, a grief. Just have the intention just to allow yourself to be in whatever form you need to right now, to express yourself in any way that you need, to cry, to scream, to just be quiet, whatever it is that you need right now. Give yourself that permission. I want you to notice your connection to the floor beneath you. Inhale, I'd like for you to imagine you're drawing up the energy from the earth, 
entering through the sit bones, through the sacral chakra, up into the pelvic bowl, moving around the pelvis, around the womb space. And then as you exhale, allow that energy to flow back out into the earth, grounding and connecting you. Inhale, drawing that energy into the pelvic bowl. And as you notice that breath and energy swirling around the womb space, can you also notice any physical sensations around the womb that you have today? Whether it be a slight cramping or tugging. As you exhale, notice the downward flow of apana. As you exhale, letting that energy flow through the base chakra into the earth. Breathing slowly, deeply, keeping this connection with the earth, connection through the base chakra and connection with the womb space. Let everything else be soft. Start to focus your attention even more on that downward flow of apana, almost as if there were an energetic pull drawing you downward towards the earth. Through the parts of your body that connect with the floor, but also the rest of the body melting downward, sinking, almost as if your body had become melting chocolate warm nectar, everything soft and relaxed. Let the entire body become soft. Feel your connection through the earth, through this drawing down, almost as if the earth were anchoring you with this energy. And just allow yourself to sit here, to feel Notice sensations, pulsating energy. As you move deeper and deeper, allow yourself to lose the boundaries of your body. Allow that downward flow of apana to merge you with the earth beneath you. So you can no longer tell where the lines of your body end and the earth starts. The lines between you and the air blurring, melting, liquid, softness, surrender. Stay here in this space of softness, feeling your connection to the earth and the connection to everything around you.
to make your next couple of breaths a little bit deeper, filling the low belly, the side ribs, right to the top of the chest. As you take these breaths, start to feel energy returning, softening, releasing that strong connection to the earth. Your body starts to become lighter, more fluid, and the boundaries of your body start to return to your awareness. Noticing where your body connects with the mat or the floor. Noticing the temperature of the air on your skin feeling of your clothes on your body. Keep the eyes closed and just start taking some gentle pelvic circles. So gently stirring the pelvic bowl with the upper body, moving the shoulders around in one direction and then reversing in the opposite direction. Let's finish our meditation by bringing the hands back onto that womb space Feeling the warmth of the hands on the belly. And take this moment to honor your womb, your creative center, for all that it has already done for you. Just notice yourself holding this space, cradling this part of your body, even if you feel perhaps negative at the moment. Notice that you can feel gratitude for your body as well as holding these other emotions. It's okay to feel mixed. Hold this space for yourself and allow yourself just to be. And when you're ready to bring the hands to heart, bow down the head. Even when you may be feeling the darkness, the light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for sharing this practice with me. I know it can feel incredibly painful at this time to sit in stillness and to just listen, but I honestly think it's so important to make this time and space for yourself, whether you are trying to conceive a baby or whether you are just trying to live and create the best life that you can. There is so much wisdom to be found in living in alignment with your menstrual cycle. I know for me it has been life-changing to honor this part of my body and my life rather than looking at it as a curse. If you would like other practices that help to nurture the different stages of your cycle, I'll leave some links below for you to check out. Thanks again for being here and I'll see you next week. Namaste.